Just another magic Monday. Disney! Hey guys, welcome back to our Disney side. This video is probably about two months overdue, but I've just been wrapped up with work and summer and sad things, but I'm back and you all have been requesting that I finally do my Disney in a pin haul, so this is it. Um, I'm just gonna set up here at the window so you can see everything under natural light and it'll look all pretty and stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to remember where I got all the pins from. I obviously didn't get everybody's names, but I think I can usually remember what I traded for them and stuff. In all honesty, it's really me just showing you all the awesome pins that I rock at from Dayton, Ohio. And trust me, there's tons. So let's just get to it. As you can see, my keeper bag is chock full of new pins and it's been waiting ever so patiently to show you guys. And then it's gonna go up there. Finally, I cannot wait. And yes, I know many of you have requested that I do an actual collection video. Um, we are hoping that we can do our collection videos soon. It's just, it's gonna take a long time to go through all of them and we're constantly changing, uh, adding new pins and, and stuff like that. So it's a tough video series to really keep up with. So hopefully soon, hang in there guys, we'll get there. Okay, so first off, we'll start with the Aladdin collection. This first one, I'm gonna consider it Aladdin because it has an Aladdin character on it. But I traded this one with Jay and Chantel. It's from the Imagination Gala. It was like a, one of the pin events. It's got Figment riding the magic carpet and it's a limited edition. Don't know if it says it on the back. but I will leave a caption as to what the edition size is. I just thought it was pretty fancy. You know, figment is always fun. I think I'll save this one for after because it's super pretty. I do have a number of limited editions in here that I'm super excited to now own for my collection. Uh, this is actually a limited release. Kind of like a group hug with Jeannie and everybody. Abu looks like he's dying, but um, this is one that, if you guys are familiar with pin picks, you can actually put what you're hoping to own or trade for, and I've had this on my pin picks since the beginning, so I was really excited to get this. I found it for two dollars. Two dollars, guys. I was so excited. A few more pins from that same seller. Uh, this one, because it's new, I think it was three or four dollars, but it's a Jafar Genie Tsum Tsum. This one is from a current mystery box set where you can get all different kinds of villains as Tsum Tsums. Keeping with the Jafar theme. Another one I paid two dollars for. This is from another pin event. Um, I think it was like the 13 Reflections of Evil or something. I don't know if it says it on the back. Let's find out. August 9th to 12th, 2001. Second in the Villains series. Limited edition of 5,000. Okay, so it doesn't say what the event was, but it does give the event date and everything, so that's pretty cool. And it's my favorite word. Lenticular. Ooh. Even Jafar's into it. Ooh. <laughs> I can make him talk. Hello, I'm Jafar. <laughs> Easily amused, I'm sorry. On to another limited edition. I've got this genie. For National Teacher Day 2006, it's limited edition 2500. I just like how it's got, you know, all of his different arms. I do work in a school, so I can relate to having this sort of feeling. Oh, this one, I actually got. I like to get a pin anytime I have a special event in my life to commemorate it. So this is in honor of my latest job that hopefully will be my only job for a while. I really enjoy my job, but I'm uh, an administrator, so I'm really liking it, and I like that I found a genie pin that honors administrators. I actually traded for, I traded a pretty decent pin for it, just because I really wanted it, and then I found a second one, the exact same pin, two dollars. But at least I have another one for trading. <laughs> I do have two more limited editions, so I'll get to them after, oh, and then the really pretty one, we'll get to that, so I'm going to save this one 
and let's save those three. A lot of these are probably mystery packs or rack pins, but a lot of them will probably be much older or from different parks. Say for this one, this jasmine is likely a rack pin, I believe, but it's from Disneyland Paris. I'm unable to pinpoint a date for this one, but it does have like the old waffly back, so that tells me it's probably at least early 2000s. But she's so sparkly. I like her pose too, it's very, very sweet. Now this one I traded for. It was a tough trade to make, but so worth it. It's Jasmine sitting on the magic carpet with the palace in the background. And I think this one's just another, probably a rack pin. But it's from, I believe, 2006. This one is actually from a mystery box from, I believe, 2007. It's kind of a series about, uh, I believe it was for Walt Disney World. It could have been Disneyland too, I could be wrong. But uh, just kind of about different movies and how the parks represent certain things. Like this is where it's a whole new world. <laughs> I do have some other pins from this series that I, I think I only have one other one that I kept. There we go, you can actually see it now, so pretty. Now that I've figured out that method, I'm gonna try shooting the rest like that. <laughs> so this one here is, I'm not sure where it's from, I know it's an older one. Let me just check the back here. So from 2003, so probably one of the more original pins that you could have gotten. And this was another one that I only had to pay $2 for. Pretty awesome. This is another Disneyland Paris one. So you can see on the back, it says Disneyland Resort Paris. Another one I do not know the date of, but as you can see, it's got that like square waffle back, which tells me it's much older. And I like that Jasmine is wearing a different color than usual, so it kind of makes it stand out a bit. And then, Similar pose, kind of, in her regular attire is another Jasmine pin. And I honestly just discovered that this was a limited edition. I was just kind of going through my pins. I only paid $2 for this. And I realized that it is a limited edition of 3000 So that was an added bonus. I was not expecting that. Dayton Disneyana strikes again. This next one is from a booster pack of different countries. Now that I'm looking at this zoomed in, Jasmine's face looks really weird. Look at her eyebrow, what is it doing? It's so weird. <laughs> but um, this one you can still get in the parks and I believe you can get it at DisneyStore.com right now in a set of, I think it's 10 to 12 pins. I guess it would be 10 because that would be, it's all of the pavilions at Epcot. Or is that 11? I can't remember. I believe it's 11. I should know this, I make Epcot passports. But anyway, um, yeah, she is representing Morocco. Now, on to the last of the Aladdin pins. This is a Disney Cruise Line pin featuring Genie. It's an artist choice from 2005, and it's an Ellie of 750. I did find it kind of odd that the Disney Cruise Line is like in behind the boat. You can hardly even see it's there. I thought it was a very strange design, but oh well, that's what they went with. Then we move on to the really pretty one. This is a cast member exclusive limited edition. I may have had to have splurged on this one a little bit. I think it might have been closer to $20. I can't remember the price. It's been two months. I probably put it out of my mind, but um, another representation of all the different pavilions. So um, this is for Morocco. They had all different other ones for uh, the other countries as well. And I like how it has the shape of Spaceship Earth around it and then the um, Arabic on the bottom. It's, uh, I believe all the other countries had, I can't remember what it says, but each country had something in their native language, which was pretty cool. I'll take it off the card so that we can take a look at the back as well. As you can see, it's a cast member exclusive, and it's 
a limited edition of $7.50. Dangly piece. That's so pretty. So here's all of the Aladdin pins I got from Dayton. Oh, wait, no. There's one more. Hold on. I have to get it in my pin book because it's very delicate. I've been storing it in my pin book to keep it safe. So, magic of YouTube. Here we go. How gorgeous is this pin? It's on a spring. So you can see why I had to keep it in my pin book. I wasn't going to put this in my keeper bag the way it was because I was scared that it might get tangled up. But uh, if you guys recall when Lilo and Stitch first came out and they kind of did mashups where Stitch kind of took over other movies, that's what this pin kind of reminds me of. As you can see, he commandeered the magic carpet and kind of took a chunk out of him. That must have hurt. But they're flying over the Hyperion Theater to represent when Aladdin used to play there. Super cool. I don't know whether to put this in my Stitcher Aladdin collection. I think it'll probably go in my Aladdin because, you know, technically has two characters from Aladdin plus the theater it played at. So Stitch can just kind of sneak into my Aladdin collection. So this, that is finally my Aladdin pins. <laughs> that was the big chunk of my Dayton haul. Next we'll move on to the other miscellaneous things. Next I'm going to move on to a few Pirates pins that I got. I'm going to save this one for last. First off, I got this little Disney Racers series. This is from a mystery pack where you get five pins in a bag. I think I may have just randomly traded for it. I can't remember where I got it exactly, but I thought, well, it's pirates going in my pirates collection. Why not? I love this next one. This is actually from Hong Kong Disneyland. And it's Pluto holding the keys like the dog in that one scene at the jail cell, which is one of my favorite scenes. And to make this pin even better, it moves. I absolutely love motion pins. It's kind of like some version of a fidget spinner or something. But it's just a really pretty Hong Kong pin. And then this next pin is from 2006, I believe. Back when, uh, this is probably when they originally added Jack Sparrow into the old Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's say 2006. Mm, yes, so that was from 2006. Him with his pile of gold. I should mention, all of these three pins I got from one seller that just had bins and bins of random pins you just you didn't know what was inside you just had to dig and I think I think I paid three for this one I think this one was also three and then this one was four and it's a limited edition of four thousand and it's got Jack and Barbosa and Barbosa is my favorite pirate super excited to get this one for only four bucks this was from when pirates opened for at world's end back in 2007 so this pin is 10 years old and yes I know that's not a Mickey back but I just put it on there so I wouldn't scratch myself <laughs> they're all gonna be going on my pin board anyway there's all of the Pirates pins I got next we move on to a small collection that I have and that is characters holding cameras I'm gonna save this one for last I'm gonna show you these guys together because I bought them together and they're from the same series. You may have seen in my Dayton Disney Anna vlog, I mentioned I got uh, a couple of pins in a bag and I said I was gonna show them up close. I'm sorry I took this long, but it's got Pluto holding a camera with his tail and then Donald getting frustrated with film getting stuck to his face. <laughs> but both of these pins are from a series called Share the Magic. They've got a little feature of Tinkerbell there. I think Pluto was number six and Donald was the fourth. I cannot get it to focus in on it, but I'm not entirely sure as to how many pins were in the series, but I will be looking out for others in case they have more cameras involved. And then this massive one here is actually pretty cool. It's Mickey holding a video camera and carrying a suitcase for, this is actually for the Salt Lake Olympics in 2002. 
and only the, the only way you could get this pin is if you were on the NBC camera crew. So this is a pretty cool pin to have. I believe I traded for this one. So um, yeah, it's just a, a unique one. I'm happy to put that with my camera stuff. And finally, I'm just gonna move on to some miscellaneous, uh, just what I have left over in my pin bag. Um, there is one that's kind of a pairing here. First off, we have Stitch from that other series I mentioned before. So I guess Disney Parks is where trouble takes a break. <laughs> Thought that was pretty cute. And then I got this Hong Kong booster pack, Stitch and Scrump. This is another one of those $2 pins I grabbed. And it's Phoebus from Hunchback. I believe this one is a Disneyland Paris pin. And it does not say, but I'm guessing it is. Don't really come across very many Hunchback pins, so any I find, I grab. This one is Fillmore from Cars, but he is done up like Yoda. I just kept this one because I really like Volkswagen buses. I actually had one as my limo for my wedding. So uh, yeah, I just really enjoy the vehicle. So I kept Fillmore. This one is from a booster pack where all the characters of Cars are done up like different Star Wars characters. You may have seen me show this one in the Dayton Disney Inn of Vlogs, but this is from a really old Mickey Mouse cartoon. It's done in black and white. I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will put a caption for it here uh, if you want to look it up on YouTube or anything. It's actually a very dark cartoon where uh, Mad Doctor takes Pluto and then Mickey tries to rescue Pluto and then gets taken by the Doctor as well. And now we're out of focus. I'm going on a tangent. Anyway, if you want to check it out, look it up. Look it up. It's it's pretty interesting. I was oddly obsessed with it when I was a child, and I think that says a lot about my brain. Sorry. <laughs> now this pin I bought from that random bin where it was everything was like two, three, four dollars. I think I got this pin for a couple bucks. I got it with the intention of not hanging it up until I actually visit Tennessee. Tennessee is kind of top on my bucket list right now for reasons, particularly some people that might be watching this video right now. I would like to go and see them, but I am not going to put this on my pin board until I have a chance to go. So, hopefully one day. Now, of these two, which one should I save? I'm gonna save this one for last. This one is from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2014. It's got Max and Goofy. If you guys are familiar with my collections, I collect 90s cartoons, but I'm thinking I might just stick to Rescue Rangers and Goof Troop, because those were really the main ones I watched. I also watched Pepper Ann, but there's like one pin of her. So anyway, anything that has Max Goof on it, I have to have. And uh, I was just really happy to come across this one. I think I paid $10 for it. And once again, I will take it off the back so we can look at what the back is like. It is a limited edition of 4,000. It's in the shape of a little ornament. And then like how sparkly it is. Super cute. Now this last one is kind of amazing. I'm, I'm shocked that this actually still works. But as you can see, it's a very thick Buzz Lightyear. And that's for a reason. You can see that there's little dots all over him. And what those dots are, are lights. How awesome is that? So there's a little switch on the side here, and if I just flick it up, he lights up. This might be one of the coolest pins I own, I'm not sure. But the fact that it is 11 years old, and it still lights up, is pretty impressive. So that was probably one of my favorite pins that I grabbed. This was another one that I grabbed from those two, three, four dollar bins. I think he may have been three dollars. So, kind of awesome. Oh, I'm just realizing though, he doesn't have his uh, wing button. Interesting. Still a cool pin though. I like it. So there you have it guys. These are all the pins that I am keeping from trades and purchases at Dayton Disney Anna.
I highly recommend this event, especially if you're new to pin trading and you really want to get, um, you know, up the ante with your traders. This is just the stuff I'm keeping. I have lots of stuff that I put in my trader book too. So, if you're in the area in Dayton, Ohio, or want to take the drive, personally, I feel it was worth the 8 hour to 10 hour drive. But that's just me. If you guys are interested in something like that, be sure to stay tuned for next year's event. But there you have it guys, that's my Dayton Disney in a pin haul. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We've always got lots of fun Disney content on the way. And don't forget to give this video a like or leave us a comment. We love hearing from you guys. Have a good week. Bye.